get some supports we can run through real quick. I have a Felix and Ingrid. Felix, there you are. I've been looking all over for you. Time for our tactics lecture. You'll be there, won't you? Those things are such a waste of time. Nonsense. You're going to be there. Must I? Why is this such a chore? You went last time. Though you did all you could to disrupt things, as I recall. I was offering my honest opinion. Then, you left before we were finished. What do you suppose happened after that? I have no idea. Well, the conversation got quite lively. We all began breaking down the viability of your somewhat maniacal plan. And apparently, similar tactics have been used to turn the tides of historic battles. That may be an exaggeration. Successful armies must be able to handle unexpected situations. That starts with weapon mastery and creative tactics. If you didn't have so much battlefield experience, you wouldn't be capable of such unique strategies. Which is why we need people like you. People who think creatively to lead the army. No, you're just massaging my ego. Good talk. So my only choice to do today is to battle. We have three points we can spend, but we only have one thing we can spend them on. Because mission is not available. First of all, let's look at the units that we have on the field. Let's evaluate how we want to have this. So, me on the field, given I need to be on the field. Dimitri can be on the field. To do absolutely on the field. Mercedes on the field, absolutely. Annette on the field. Felix on the field. Ingrid on the field. Ash, take it or leave it. Yuri, I don't really know. Constance, I remember her being very, very squishy. Balthus, put him on the field. Happy, I don't recall being that good. Oh, well. I can't actually put her on the field anyway, so these other three are going to have to go on the field as adjuncts. So let's put one on the dew. Put one on me, and we'll put the other one on Dimitri. Okay. I think that is good to start. You know what I forgot to do? I forgot to buy them some good weapons. I don't know, next time. Why am I carrying an axe? I don't use axes. Although I should probably be leveling up my axe so that I can uh, recruit Hilda. Maybe that's why I put it on. Okay, sword for this one, though, because I can actually take him out completely if I hit him, which I didn't. Look at all the support I'm gaining from these people, though. Okay, Ingrid can't really advance to a place where she can attack, but Dimitri can. Dimitri has reached level 4. Mercedes. Uh, can she reach Balthus? Okay, so she can heal Balthus. And she can heal me. They're targeting Balthus, though, so I'm gonna have her heal Balthus. Yeah. <laughs> Ash is level 2. He's a little further behind. Okay, I'm just gonna move Dimitri in because I'm also gonna move Ingrid in behind him. And then to do in as well. Felix, I don't know why I sent you over in this direction, bud. You gotta come back out this way. <laughs> that was maybe poor planning on my part. I'll well, my Ingrid, best. have you go in? No. Ash. Huh, there's really no good place for Ash to stand and attack any of these people. Although, hold on. Actually, there is. Can't do a lot of damage, but he can do some. Some is better than none. Alright, then that leaves me. I'm actually gonna go down and take out this one. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I thought I was switching back to the axe. Okay, well, it worked out. Oh, and Constance? Over there. Following up with another attack. That actually worked out pretty well. 
unnecessary crit, but okay. Oh, we might lose Ingrid as well. I think she might be in a little... No. Oh yeah, she's in a vulnerable spot. Dodge Ingrid! Okay, well. Forgive me. Inexperience got the best of me. Well, that's one down. Okay, and then to do, I want you to take this guy. Okay, well he can't take him out, but he can set the uh, set him up for the next person to take him out. Can Felix make it? No, Felix can't make it that far. Balthus can, though. Couldn't weather the storm, huh? Well, that blood and sweat was worth it. All right, we did it. Turn five, not bad. <laughs> MVP Annette, of course. I get the feeling we're gonna be seeing that screen a lot. Oh, I can just do it. I can just do the practice battle again. Probably not the worst idea, because I'm pretty sure it's gonna be the exact same battle. Yeah, it's the exact same battle. <laughs> oh, actually, hold on. Armory. Let's buy some stuff because I want to do to start learning uh, brawl. So now that Dudu has the weapons that I want him to be using, let's see how we can what go. I do? There we go. This is the Dudu we've been wanting. Now that uh, we've got that out of the way, let us keep on keeping. Okay, Bylus going the other way now. And by Bylus, I mean Sari, because I named the character. <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm a terrible father. Okay, instructions. Here we go. Okay, Mercedes. Need to start teaching you some more magic abilities where you can attack. Oh, and just, you're already doing great. Suppose put you on a horse as well. Oh, she likes horses. You're laying it on a little thick. What do you want to be praised or not? Keep to do in there, but also put Dimitri in. I could be a dark knight that nobody dares mess with. Okay, yeah. If you want to be Batman, who am I to tell you you can't be Batman? You're curious to know how Ingrid is doing. Go for a visit? Sure. <sighs> that's the third time this month. Well, that's that. Father never relents. Oh, Professor. Hello. Did you need something? Were you just hiding something? Uh, what were you doing just now? Well, um... That is, I was just tossing out something I have no need of. It's important to keep our spaces clean, after all. You'd do well to remember that too, Professor. A clean space makes for a clean mind, or some such. Getting rid of things you have no need for is the first step to managing one's belongings in an economical way. Are you the thrifty type? Does that surprise you? Perhaps it seems ill-befitting someone of noble birth to care about such things. Despite my family's nobility, we have never been particularly wealthy. So my father raised me to be conservative with my resources, paring down when necessary. He also encouraged me to keep my living spaces immaculate. So the two go hand in hand, I suppose. Uh, he sets a fine example I'd be happy to follow. I think he'd be happy to hear you say that. What was it you threw out, anyway? Oh, uh, just a scrap of paper. It was already written on, so no good for note-taking. And obviously, I can't use it to clean my lance. So I tossed it. No need to hang on to inconsequential things, you know. Professor, did you come to check on me for any particular reason? I hope Sylvain and Felix aren't getting into trouble as they tend to do. I just wanted to talk to you. Well, if there's nothing important, I'll be on my way then. I still have some cleaning to take care of, after all. Talk to you later, Professor. Good talk? By the way, sometimes you find edible plants among the weeds. Please do not eat the weeds. You have allies who can take beginner exams. Take a look at certifications to review which they can take. I got five. And I can do either a rest or a seminar. 
Seminar would probably be better. Okay, Annette, put you in with the magic user. It's all thanks to hard work. There you go. I'll teach a seminar. Why not? I'll show up in my basketball uniform. No one else came, though. Just people from my class. Each new experience is an asset. I'm looking sharp, huh? Motivation of attendees increased by 50. Somebody's got... Oh, it's Mercedes' birthday. Thank yeah. So much. Get Mercedes some flowers. Professor. I just got word from the Knights that the last of the thieves have been cornered. Just as planned. They're in Xanado, the Red Canyon. We certainly can't allow those underhanded thieves to get away. Let's work together and do our best to take them down. It matters not who we're up against. They will not harm His Highness. <laughs> we're just fighting common thieves, right? I don't expect much of a challenge. Aren't you a spoil sport? I'm actually quite excited myself. Who knows? There may even be some cute lady thieves. Hmm. Well, at any rate, a real battle is a great opportunity for us to see how far we've come. True. The mock battle was a success. We'll be fine so long as we stay the course. Hope everything turns out all right. Perhaps we are a bit overly excited. But remember that we have the knights on our side. All should be well. Ah. And speaking of the knights, I heard that Gerald is once again one of the knights of Seros. Perhaps we'll have the good fortune of seeing you two fight side by side. We've fought together many times. Oh, of course. I apologize for letting my childish whims get the better of me. Was that the wrong option? In all honesty, I'm a bit jealous. My parents are no longer around. No longer around? They... They died. Both of them. I'm all that remains of them now. Anyhow, I'm sorry to bore you with such things. I'd say it's nearly time for us to depart, eh, Professor? Oh, Bylus, go zoom! Gotta go fast! Why did I name my character? I'm just gonna keep calling them Bylus. So, we are taking children into battle, are we? I am not certain I will be able to sleep soundly after beholding something like that. I shall allow you to turn back the hands of time. But no, this power is not infinite. Okay. Press the L button during the player phase to trigger Divine Pulse. At the end of each battle, Divine Pulses will be recharged. Okay. Who do we have for units? Okay, so Sylvain is out for the count, which is fine. We're in the uh, um, Constance Outdoors, which I didn't even think of. This is the other personality of Constance when she's out in the sun. Okay, let's go ahead and begin the battle. The Red Canyon. This is the first time I have ever been here. It's like walking through a ruin. Let's get this battle out of the way, Professor. The thieves must have already been driven back. The knights chased us all the way here? Chief, let's get out of here. There's no way we can win against them. Shut your dumb mouth! Where would we go at this point? You can't be a thief if you fear death! All right, let's According do to this. Our information, there is a back road to the west. Let's split up and approach from the west and the front. If we advance cleverly, we attack from both sides and gain the advantage. Okay, so he's saying we go part lays. We'll just go directly in. But once we get here, split off into another group. We could just do it with me, Dimitri, Annette, and Dadu, and then the rest of the team goes off to the west. Okay, I, th I like that idea. I'll cut through. Okay, Annette can reach them from here with magic. Oh, thank goodness. I did it! See? I'm a great fighter. <laughs> she is Stay excited to be killing a man. Oh. Team A is on its way. Team B 
me moving in. into position to be on their way. Ash, move in. Annette, move in. And by Annette, I mean Ingrid. Mercedes. Felix. Balthus. Moving in a single file line. Aww, this stinks. She was all excited for killing her first man, and then she killed the next one. She's like, aw, thanks. Ash, you should not be leading the charge, Ash. So next turn, we're going to have you hold back while everybody else advances. Yeah, Mercedes and Ash should not be in the front. They should be in the back. Balthus and Felix should really be the ones up front. Probably Ingrid, too. Okay, so Felix, you need to move up first. That was uh, that was Mercedes. Uh, Felix, you need to move up. Balthus, you need to move. Okay, well, Ash needs to move out of the way so that Balthus can then move up. Ingrid, front of the line, probably not the wisest thing, but it's. I guess this is what we're going with. We stole this treasure. It's all ours. There's no way we're gonna give it up to some knights. You're trying to kidnap what I've rightfully yeah. stolen. Maybe Annette can end the fight here. Sending these brats instead of the knights means they've underestimated me. Big mistake. There we go. Annette, yeah. do your thing. Yeah. <laughs> and dead. Uh. I should have never listened to that idiot. What a mistake. Face down in the mud, no less. Aw, this stinks. <laughs> we have defeated the thieves. We'll follow the knight's instructions for what to do next. Meanwhile, we didn't even need to have that other group splitting off. Because Annette just comes in and destroys. I remember this place, I remember this being a peaceful place. Since when has this been called the Red Canyon? I remember this being a peaceful place. What? Hmm, I wonder why it is that you recall this place. You must be weak of heart. Each time I speak, it scares you so. I'm sorry. Although the battle's at an end, do not feel too at ease. Well, anyhow, I am quite fascinated by this place. As far as I can tell, this is your first time here. Still, it feels familiar. Have you been here, Sothis? Here? I dare say it would be impossible to have forgotten such a place as this. I must admit, I am unsure. Beyond the name and the strange feeling of familiarity, I can't seem to remember anything about this place. And yet, a great depth of emotions tied to that sense of familiarity. Like joy and sorrow, pain and love, and all things in between. If I was somehow here before, I wonder what took Place. Professor, we should return to the monastery soon. We're all ready for the journey. Right. It is time we won the away game. But know that time reveals all things. One day I will remember that which I have lost. Oh, by the way, it seems you've earned my gratitude. The thieves who came here are no more. Why are you... I am not sure myself, yet I am grateful all the same. In any case... You must become accustomed to my voice. If you fall down with shock each time I speak, that just won't do. Oh, you think you're standing strong? <laughs> of course you are. It was a jest. I say I'm taking pretty well with having a goddess in my head. We're finally back. I'll leave the report to Lady Rhea in your hands, Professor. Huh. Edelgard. 
Does the Black Eagle House have a mission to see to? Remember, on a real battlefield, one can never tell what's to come. You can never dismiss the possibility of the worst-case scenario. Take care, Edelgard. There's no need to state the obvious, Dimitri. But tell me, why the concern? Perhaps you doubt my abilities? If so, your lack of insight is disappointing. That's not what I meant. If I've offended you, I hope you'll accept my apology. Don't worry about it. Professor, we must hurry. Everyone's waiting on you. I suppose I should be off too. Try not to let her get to you, Dimitri. I promise you, there's no need for concern. Hmm. Why are you so worried? I'll tell you all about it. Some other time. So you have safely disposed of those bandits. I pray that their souls find salvation. But why did they target the students to begin with? We must further investigate the true cause of all that took place. Until we know more, I ask that you support the students and relieve them of any unnecessary worry. Okay, let's see. I will do all that I can. Good. I have high expectations for you. By the way, how was your time in Xanado? Legend has it in ancient times, a goddess alighted upon this world in that very canyon. For a goddess from the heavens, Xanado could only have been a temporary haven. A temporary haven? Long ago, the divine Seros received a revelation from the goddess. A gift to help guide the lost. The goddess is always watching over Fodlin from her kingdom above. However, in ancient times, the goddess graced this world with her presence and offered salvation to the people here. She is the mother of all life, the arbiter of every soul. Okay. My father never told me. I see. During your time here, I pray that you come to devote yourself to the teachings of Seros. Uh, Lady Rhea, I am sorry to interrupt. There is something I must ask about in regard to those bandits. As you wish. We shall continue our discussion when next we meet. A goddess? I have no memory of her. But then, I have no memory at all. Oh, how bothersome. It is as though I know, and yet I don't. Perhaps Xanado was my home back when the goddess walked the land. If so, what does that make me now? A ghost? I got a ghost inside my head. I don't know. Hmm. No, that cannot be. I am most certainly alive. Of course, we also have the mystery of why I'm here with you. Is it somehow connected? Perhaps some past regret is stopping me from moving on, and now I'm forced to stay with you instead. No, that's not it. I can't believe in such a meaningless existence. I... Uh... 